Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another video. Always know your value to a woman. See, one thing with, one thing, when a woman deals with you, period, you have some value to her. Now, some can be good for a man, some could be bad for a man, but there's always a value. Let me start with the obvious. Know if she just wants you for sex, that's what she values in you just sex and indeed you do have a small percentage of men that's all she's going to buy you on the man you know he's that 12 to 5 man she's that man he's that man rather that's not going to be uh who's going to be called uh you know she'll tell him hell yeah don't say anything to me if you see me out in the street you know that's that, like I said, when I say 12 to 5, 12 to 5, because his only value to her is sex. Now, with, let's be real, many guys would love to have that. Only a small percentage get it like that, the Mr. Good Bars of the world. And they don't have to look like much. They just need to look like they can, like, do the job in the bedroom. But that's what the value is. Always know if that's all the woman wants you for. You know, because you do get some guys like that. And they want a little bit more from the woman, but the woman's like, oh no, she wants this other guy. See, some guys don't see that. Or you get some guys she do want for the relationship. She wants the good boyfriend type. You know, that's the guy that she's valuing because he's a good time to be around. He's fun and everything. She might not marry him though, because then she's married. She'll marry a third guy, but that's the value. He's a good husband. He take care. You know, he ain't just the fun guy or just the guy to knock it out the box, but he's also the guy, he, he can still give us some good sex, some decent sex. We ain't gonna get into women cheating in this day. Well, you know what, I'll get into it in a second. Women cheating. But, you know, it's the husband who does all the good stuff. But then she still might get that guy on the side to cheat with. You know, I started Nice Guys and Players talking about that. I started it off talking about that, you know, check it out. But that's the thing. It's going to be different things. It might be a guy just because he has money. You know, one guy might be valued just for the friend, just to be the shoulder to cry on. Could be a guy she valued just to get discounts on uh, different products at a store. It's something. It's something. When a woman deals with a man, there's always a value. Now. Good or bad, a man, he has to turn that around. He has to say, okay, she's valuing me for this, you know? One, you need to know what it is. So it's like, okay, this is what she want me for, okay. But this is what she need to be given to get this value, you know? That's, this is what she need to be giving, you know, like a smart guy. Like, okay, say he's just value for sex, you know? Now, Master Teacher BGS would say, don't, you know, don't uh, deal with her for sex for free. She need to do something. She need to do something, buy you something or something. You know, a lot of low key gigolos don't want that. You know, you gotta, you gotta really think about that. You gotta think about that. Or if she's valuing you and you for money, even though I'm against that, you need to ask, you need to know that. And you need to ask yourself, okay, she only wants me to spend money on her. Now, some guys don't have a problem with that. Some guys don't have a problem with that. Now, personally, you know I do. But you need to ask yourself, if it's, all, if it's just about money, you ain't trying to spend your money, you need to walk away. Like I said, sometimes the value is good. Sometimes the value is bad. You need to know where you stand with a woman. That's the bottom line. Whether you and her select or non-select. What is, what is she getting out of you? What is she using you for? You know, what, what's your prime? How does she see you? Does she see you as a select man? Does she see you as a non-select man? Let me talk about that for a second. Yeah, you're getting sex from her, but is it like steady whenever you want it, wild and crazy? Or is it once a week almost like an obligation? You know, if you living with her or something, or even married to her, is she coming to bed with those nice little nighties on? You know, hair fixed up, everything smelling good? 
or she got that uh, mask on her face. Her hair is tied up, wrapped up, and she coming to bed, bed in those full pajamas. You know, shoot, you might just be, hey, you might just be the husband, but then, you know how I always say it, double back home, because she's having sex with somebody. Women like, bottom line, women want to have sex. So, but it might not be with you. See, you always got to know where you stand with a woman and then, then you know what to do, you know? In fact, even beforehand, like I never forget, I was working on the job. I gave this woman a piece of candy and she thought she, she, thought she had a mark right there was trying to get some other stuff. I was like, uh-uh, no, I just don't like that particular candy. <laughs> Slow down. <laughs> but that told me how she saw me immediately. I didn't have to use, I didn't have to do anything. Now if I had been stupid enough to buy some more stuff for her, then she would she automatically saw me as a as a mark. In fact she even said to me, she said, Rob, I can't really read you. I was like you know, and that was that already they she actually revealed who she was because I gave her something I didn't want anyway. I just gave it to her. It's like I don't need this particular candy. <laughs> that was it. She thought it was some bigger stuff to it. I was like, but that told me all about her. And later on, she got with the guy that looked like she was just with him for money. So I was like, mm. hey, that's on you. But you always got to know where you stand. What does the woman really see in you? Now, if some positive stuff like you just want to get some sex or the woman seeing you as like that man, okay, still know it. But then if, if you're trying, if she's just using you, you just somebody for the, uh, you know, your value to her is that she can cry about other men on your shoulders and you just go and take it, boom. Like I knew this woman, right? Young lady, had two guys that she was cool with. She fucked one, had a baby. But then the other guy, he was there more or less taking care of the baby. He'd be the one acting like the father and taking care of the baby and everything. You know why she went out and did whatever. Now she saw one that his value was a seed. Her value was a seed. You know, the other one, that was the caregiver. That was his value. Now he wanted to get with the woman. Now, first of all, he already saw the situation where a guy he knew got her pregnant, but didn't want to hang around the baby. But see, he's up there trying to take care and trying to impress her and everything. I was like, dude, if she really wanted you, yeah, and I told him. I said, dude, she really wanted you. That'd have been your biological seed. You taking care of the baby don't mean anything. That's how she's seeing you, just the guy who's gonna be the caregiver and everything. She going out finding somebody similar to the guy she uh, was dealing with. And the woman even said to me, and the woman even said this guy was in a friend zone. I was like, oh shit. But that was his value to her. Look, always know where you stand. If it's good and it's of a value to you, okay, but if it ain't, and this is how she see you, boom. Now people will say, well, how would I know? How would I know? Dude, come on, man. You, you should know if you're being used. Are you getting what you want? If you're getting what you want, that's a good value. If you're not, that's a bad value. It's that simple, okay? It's that simple. Are you getting what you want from the woman? You know, she value in a, such a way that you're getting what you want. If you are, that's a good value. If you're not, she don't see you the way that's good for you. That's a bad value, all right? That simple. All right, so anyway, that's all I have. I'll get back with y'all later. Peace and blessings.